Okay, this is a demonstration of the skills that you need to know for your Year 7 PowerPoint. First, you need to know four main skills. A voiceover, how to add a soundtrack, how to do the transition between the slides, and how to make it all run automatically. We're going to start off with this one on the voiceover. Now, to do a voiceover, you need to make sure that you've got a microphone that works connected to your machine. So make sure that you do a test and you're prepared to do a test. The other thing is, look at the bottom of the screen here that I've just highlighted. Use this area to prepare what you want to say on each slide. It makes it much easier to keep track of your thoughts and then you can just read the notes straight off when you're recording your voice. To do the actual recording, go up to the ribbon and click insert. Go across to audio and click on the drop down arrow and then go record audio. You can give this a sound recording a name. So this, I'm just going to put instructions. It's only helpful if you're going to do lots of recordings, which you might. And then click the record button. It's then going to record whatever you say. When you finish, click the stop button. Listen back to your clip by clicking the play button, or you can record some more by clicking the record button again. When you finish, click the OK. It'll eventually, after it's done a bit of processing, put a little speaker icon here. If you click on that and play, you will hear your recording. Now you can't hear mine because I'm actually using headphones at the moment. Now, you may now want to make some changes. Look up at the top of the ribbon and you can see that there's a format and a playback. Click on the playback option. Do you want this playback to start automatically when this slide, lines, slide loads? For most of you, you will. So change the start to automatic. If you want, if there's a little bit of space in it, you can use the trim and get rid of maybe the last couple of seconds, use the preview play button here to just double check. Now the last thing you may want to do is hide this so that it's not distracting people when it's playing. To hide it, right click and go to center back and again center back. And then you can just stick it behind one of the pictures on your slide. Before you finish and move on to do the next thing, you've got two more jobs to do. One is to just check this slide, check that it works. So go to slideshow on the ribbon and click from current slide. And check to make sure that your audio is playing automatically. I can hear mine playing, so that's fine. And the last thing you need to do is save your changes. Control S. Okay?